You're watching Study with Sudhir. This is your digital classroom. My name is T.S. Sudhir. The physics paper for class 12 and the physics paper for class 10. The semester 1 board examinations. Two physics papers that have created havoc for a combined total of over 2.5 lakh students. Right? Uh, let's first look at the timetable factor. Now the class 12 pr uh, physics preparation obviously needed some time. But they got just a single day for preparation. It was almost like ki chalo nadi mein tero bina life jacket ke. Class 10 was worse. They gave absolutely no gap. On 8th was the optional subject paper and on 9th was the physics paper. How would it be for instance to take an analogy from cricket? You prepare a green top and then you make Shoy Bakhtar, Brett Lee or Jaspreet Bumrah bowl at the batsman and tell the batsman you cannot wear a helmet. It was a bit like that. Kuch aise halat hui physics ke paper mein class 10th ke liye. How was the paper? Let's look specifically at the paper. There are some claims made that 70% of the questions will be direct questions. You can do the maths yourself looking at the question paper. One physics teacher told me that both papers 12th and 10th were not set for a student who is weak in physics. It was set only for the really good ones who, were, who had an aptitude for physics who were naturally gifted with the subject. When I asked our physics faculty on her reaction to the class 10 paper, her first reaction was the paper was challenging and very harsh on the students. More importantly, it was very unlike the specimen paper that was put out by the council. And that brings me to the third point. When a specimen paper is put out, now what's the objective of a specimen paper? Basically, it's to tell the students and the teachers what to expect, the broad contours of what to expect. It's not meant to be just a random collection of questions, right? It's meant to give an idea to the students on what to expect and what kind of questions they can look forward to, the different kinds of challenges. And it is more importantly meant to be a guide for the teachers so that they can appropriately prepare the students, right? Now, let me explain. In the four subparts questions, right, there are four of them, uh, 7th, 13th, 20th and 24th question. Uh, in the specimen paper, they are independent of each other. But here, at least two or three are interconnected and interrelated. So, if you get one wrong, it ends up having a cascading effect. In the class 10 paper, the English, the English language which was used in one question, the load question was wrong and that led to different kinds of interpretations. Should, shouldn't the board be actually lenient when the mistake is at their end? In a nutshell, students who enjoy solving numericals would probably have enjoyed the challenge of tackling these kind of extremely tricky questions even if they actually took more time than they would have otherwise planned. Those who are not naturally inclined towards physics would have been absolutely stumped. At the 10th class level, you are basically not looking for subject experts. You shouldn't kind of prepare a question paper that completely puts a weak student off, you know. And that bringing down his or her complete average. The other concern is that did the council's inexperience with sitting MCQ based question papers come to the fore. Now those who have corrected the answer scripts yesterday told me that a majority of the students are landing up in the 25 to 30 marks range. Uh, with very few students scoring 39 on 40 or 40 on 40 in comparison to how it was for the say the history civics paper or the mathematics paper. Now usually in a paper what happens is that looking at the 40 marks paper you would expect about 32 to 34 marks to be in the more of the easy range you know in the sense that stu which any student who has done the entire syllabus stayed true to the textbook uh, looked at his or her notes carefully should be able to score the 32 to 40, 34 out of 40. The remaining 6 to 8 marks are the tricky ones where you test the student at a slightly higher level, right? Uh, that should be the endeavor of any good quality question paper. In physics, those parameters were not met and that is essentially the problem. Now, uh, the purpose of an exam is essentially to test students. Absolutely no doubt with that, completely agree with that. But you should have thought whether in a pandemic year, they got enough opportunity to practice numericals, these kind of hard numericals, whether their concepts were strong,
whether the teachers had done enough justice to practicing and revising those concepts inside the classroom because the purpose of an examination should not be to scar students leave them traumatized aisa nahi hone chahiye ki physics ek nafrat se paida ho jaye what you have done today is to create so much of pressure on them ahead of semester 2 in the next 3 to 4 months they will start hating the subject of physics because it will no longer encourage them to study the subject uh, exam results as i said should motivate students not make them scared of a particular subject but there is a counter view to all this at study with sudhir we look at both sides the counter view to what all i have said so far is that the council wants to prepare the students in depth not do rote learning ye nahi ki easy lollipop questions puche sochne par majboor kare students ko aur uske anusar ve prashnon ka uttar de they should be able to answer the questions by thinking applying concepts not just do rote learning and that's what the new education policy also focuses on absolutely no dispute with this point that is being put forth but did the council find out whether the schools during this pandemic year had been able to prepare the students for this kind of a question paper whether this pandemic year was really the ideal situation to throw this kind of a tricky question paper at the students could they have reduced the number of these kind of googly questions is my limited submission to the council i hope those in charge of the entire examination process at the council are listening thank you very much for watching